All right, so there's a lot of questions. People are Ryobi and how to do a quick connect setup with it. So this is the Ryobi 1600 PSI 1 1.2 gallon per minute pressure washer from Home Depot. Usually retails yeah. for like 125. Yeah. Got my son helping me here today, so forgive me for that. So um, as you can see, my water's pretty hard on on all these fittings. You got it, Bob? Yeah. Pretty hard on all these fittings. It's already kind of oxidized, but I've only had this set up since about uh, last March. Seems like. So on the hose inlet side, normally uh, I would just advocate putting a 5 8 hose uh, quick connect plug on there. Uh, I wire it out because before I did the short wand setup, I'd actually have a okay another hose that I would be. We're waiting on family to come. Um, another hose that I'd use just while I was doing wheels. And so instead of unhooking and hooking up, I just put this Y on here uh, to make that easier and to facilitate. Uh, and then I've got a shut off quick connect on the. Um, on my hose here not as nice as the um what's that nice brass brand but i do have one of those on my other hose just not yeah, on this one because this, this yeah. hose pretty much sits outside all year long yeah, okay can, i'm shooting not, a video about all right is, so out of the pressure washer you got an m22 male plug you can generally buy these just about anywhere pressure washer accessories are so sold so it's an m22 to a 3 8 plug and then on the hose uh it's got the 3 8 um yeah, coupler I'm almost done. 3 8 coupler. So I have great to a 50 foot hose. I'm about to go to a 3 8 hydro hose, which will change the setup a little bit. But um, anyway, so for the longest time, I was using this hose with the uh, M22 to 3 8 couplers uh, on both sides of it. And then on the stock Ryobi gun, I have the uh, an M22 male plug that uh, screws on in front of the trigger. And this setup has served me well. Um, for the time that I was using it. I actually found the adapter for the foam cannon so that I could twist this off and put the foam cannon in place. And then I use uh, 45 degree tips on the end of my pressure washer. So that setup worked well. So keeping that setup because I just got done blasting off the driveway with the Ryobi gun, I went ahead and bought the M407 gun. So I've got a 3 8 male plug on there. I went with, uh, I think these are the zinc plated. Um, and then the quarter inch uh, coupler output so that's the gun there um shh, just a second buddy so this plugs really smoothly just a second buddy in just a minute so three eighths coupler on the hose three eighths coupler on the gun clicks in all is well on the end of the m407 hey bob i need that on the end of the 407 i've got the quarter inch coupler my 407 came with the 18 inch bayonet uh, with this connector already on there for tips and accessories. I added the quarter inch plug um, onto the end of the wand. This is the MTM low pressure foam cannon. Customize it with an Atom sticker. Um, and then it's got a 3 8 plug on it. And so you can switch between the bayonet and the gun seamlessly quick. And easy um, just like uh, the other setups that are out there but this is tailored just for the Ryobi uh, and it's now interchangeable with the Ryobi gun if you have any questions let me know do my best to answer them hopefully this video helps you out